Hello everyone, and welcome to a special Project Borealis developer update. My name is Postulio, and I'm the studio director on the team here. In this update video, we'd like to offer a glimpse into where the project has been, what the team has currently been working on, and where we're headed next. It has been some time since our last official public update video. When we started this project, our team knew that there would be challenges on the road to achieving our commonly shared goal. Sometimes those obstacles came from the global pandemic, while others emerged through the process of community-led game development. Despite these challenges, the team continues to make exciting progress and reach new milestones. One of these early milestones we set for ourselves was what we originally referred to as Ravenholm Revisited. This exercise allowed the team to simultaneously develop multiple core Half-Life 2 features and stylistic choices while refining them with modern engine technology in a familiar setting. Through this process, we've decided to take a few artistic liberties to help convey the atmospheric narrative direction we're headed in with Project Borealis. The result of this effort is a short prologue level available to download and play today. The release of Project Borealis Prologue has allowed us to take all the core gameplay systems and assets iconic to the Half-Life 2 style of gameplay and recreate them using the Unreal Engine. One of the first things we expect players to notice while navigating the level is our new snow deformation system, which replaced the one originally shown in Update 5. As you can see, the new snow deforms more naturally around objects, and when combined with other lighting, wind, and volumetric effects, allows us to have greater immersion in our upcoming winter environments. The Unreal Engine development environment has enabled us to create a system which stitches level segments together and avoids the traditional load times and transitions seen in source levels. On the topic of engine enhancements, the programming team continues to refine gameplay interactions in the game, including dynamic rope interactions, AI logic, and gravity gun behavior. Throughout Ravenholm, players will get a chance to see these systems in action. As players navigate the prologue, they'll encounter several specific moments, some iconic to the original Ravenholm and others unique to our interpretation. All of them represent the work done between the level design and programming teams to create a system used to trigger all types of events through the level, including dynamic enemy spawn locations, trap triggers, level transitions, and scripted events. This important work paves the way for us to develop new experiences for the full game. As the team completes this chapter in the project development and looks towards the next milestone, we're excited to build on the lessons we've learned and refined over these past several years. Our processes are as refined as they've ever been, and the team now works under the unified banner of the Icebreaker Industry Studio moniker. These changes have allowed us to maintain our commitment to delivering the vision of Episode 3, initially pitched by Mark Laidlaw, fulfilled to the deserving community free of charge. As always, the Project Borealis team is looking for new talented individuals to work with. With the release of the prologue, we're focused on finding contributors with experience in the following departments. Animation, environmental art, level design, programming, production, and DevOps. More information on each of these roles can be found by visiting our website at projectborealis.com. If you see a role that interests you and you feel that you can lend just a few hours a week to the project, we encourage you to apply. We hope you enjoy this update and glimpse into our ongoing development. The team is excited to be back to sharing what they've been working on. On behalf of everyone on the Project Borealis team, thank you for your continued support. Until next time.